Good evening. My name is Sriram. I am a Hindu. Uh, without practicing uh, Islam, do you mean to say it is difficult uh, by practicing Christianity or uh, by Hinduism to go to attain the uh, paradise after death? Well, that's a very good question. That without practicing Islam, can you practice Christianity and Hinduism? Can you go to paradise or you cannot go to paradise? Brother, as I said, the Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 19, in Nadina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable to Almighty God is submitting will to Almighty God. If you read Christianity, the word Christianity is not there in the whole Bible. Like how Hinduism is not there in the Hindu scripture, the word Christianity doesn't exist. It's not there in the Bible. The word Christian was used first time in the book of Acts by the people to describe the followers of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It was a nickname by the people given of Antioch in the book of Acts, if you read. Christian. The word Christianity is not there in the Bible. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, preached nothing but Islam. Therefore, he's going to come in the second coming to testify. There's nothing like Christianity. Abraham, peace be upon him, Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 67, he was not a Jew or a Christian, he was a Muslim. Abraham, peace be upon him, taught Islam. Moses, peace be upon him, taught Islam. Again, Islam. Don't think Islam is okay, fine. I have to have a Muslim name. I have to live in an Arab country. I have to have a Zakir name, Abdul. Islam means submitting a will to Almighty God. If you submit a will to Almighty God or a Muslim, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God. Anyone who says that I follow not my will, the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. He preached Islam. I've given the talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity. And I've proved that even in Christianity, they say believe in one God, don't believe in Trinity, don't make images of Almighty God, God is not begotten, all from the Bible. From the Bible has proved how to offer Salah, from the Bible, about Zakat, about Hajj, should not have alcohol, about modesty from the Bible. So even Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not come to preach Christianity, he came to preach Islam. And Almighty God is the same God for all the human beings, he has only given one religion, no other religion. All these are corrupted form of the original religion. Like how the brother said, Sufism. Even that's a corrupted form of Islam. It is not Islam at all. What we have to follow is true Islam, the Quran, and the Sahih Hadith. And all the messengers, they taught only Islam. So if you follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, by going to the scriptures, Jesus Christ never said, worship me. He never claimed divinity. In fact, there's not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that he's God or where he says, worship me. But the Christian says, you cannot enter paradise until you believe Jesus Christ died for your sin. He was Almighty God. There's not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that he's God or where he says, worship me. If any Christian can show me any statement in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says, worship me, I'm ready to accept Christianity today. In fact, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, he said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I with the spirit of God, I cast out devil. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God, cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. He submitted the will to Almighty God, you are the Muslim. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22, it said, E men of Israel, listen to this, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles which God did by him, and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles which God did by him, and you are witness to it. So if you say Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then I say we Muslims are more Christian than the Christians themselves. Because Bible says don't have pork. Bible says the woman should cover the head. It's mentioned in the first Corinthians. First Corinthians, chapter number 11, verse number 5 to 7. The woman that does not cover her head, her head should be shaved off. So brother, all the messengers of Almighty God, they taught nothing but Islam. Islam is submitting a will to Almighty God. So if you submit a will to Almighty God, you'll go to paradise. If you don't submit, you will not go. Hope that answers the question.